Hello everyone, welcome to Malik Zero 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Chapter 5 on connecting to the database instance uh, in my database administration course. Uh, in the connection to the database instance, uh, I already covered there are two ways of uh, connection process will be established. One is the dedicated server process and shared server process. If you see here uh, in the dedicated server process, the client uh, tried to connect to database with the help of uh, a connection ring, TNS dot or a connection string and then the request will go to listener uh, listener i already covered listener.ora file where you, you can define your listener parameters and then you, uh, you're going to start your listener and that listener is going to listen incoming connections so the user connection will go to listener and then listener will try to connect to uh, your, your your server process and server process will fork your dedicated server process this dedicated server process is assigned to this user and uh, this listener connection goes up direct connection will be established between the client and dedicated server so whatever the uh, uh, the process or whatever the request this client sends this dedicated server process will process it and then it will retrieve the data back to user uh, if you come to the shared server connection process uh, whenever the user sends a request the request will go to uh, listener and then listener in fact uh, 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 starts uh, you know, for, uh, in fact, uh, fork on uh, dispatcher. Uh, the dispatcher is a lightweight process uh, where uh, uh, you can define how many dispatcher can uh, one shared server uh, uh, can uh, 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 can fork. For example, uh, I assume that I have defined uh, one uh, shared server process uh, for my database. This shared server process can able to uh, fork. Uh, four dispatchers it means with the help of one shared server processes a four clients or four connection will be established uh, for example client one comes and then dispatcher one will be assigned to him and then the, re the request will go to request queue and then uh, the from the request queue it will go to shared server pool and from the shared server pool it will go to database and once the query is fetched and then result will be comes back to the shared server pool and then via shared server pool the, the 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 output will be sent to response queue from the response queue again the output will be goes to dispatcher via dispatcher uh, the particular output will be given to the requesters uh, similarly as i said this this shared this server process has uh, i defined uh, uh, has capability to uh, uh, fork uh, four dispatcher it means four clients can connect to one shared server and then if fifth uh, uh, connection comes again one more shared server process will be launched and then that a second shared server process is uh, capable of launching a uh, four more dispatchers uh, this is how uh, the shared server connection will goes off so uh, here only two concepts you just uh, try to you know don't get confused uh, uh, always there will be two types of connection dedicated server connection and shared server connection in the dedicated server connection it's a one to one one client comes one dedicated server will be assigned to him and then whatever the request will go whatever the request or queries will go to dedicated server from dedicated server the connection will go to database from the database result will be back to dedicated server and from the dedicated server the result will be displayed back to the requester in the in the case of shared server connection uh, i'll be defining one shared server and then uh, inside the shared server at the database level i'll be defining how many uh, a dispatcher this one shared server can able to fork if I mention one shared server can able to fork four dispatcher, one with the help of one shared server, uh, I can able to manage four connections. And fifth connection comes, there is a one more shared server process will be launched, and then that second shared server process will be capable of uh, forking or uh, you know launching four more dispatchers. Right. So the in the case of shared server connection, there will be a request queue and response queue will be formed, and then uh, all the four users. Uh, uh, request will be goes to request queue and then result will be back to response queue based upon the priority and criteria the, the result will be displayed and the, the request will be executed so how you define this connection method shared or dedicated i already covered in my previous session in your uh, tns name.ora file uh, this particular parameter shared equal to shared or shared equal to dedicated is the one where you can able to find out whether your connection is uh, dedicated or shared so at the database level with the help of VDL session uh, you can able to find whatever the connection established is the, with the, whether it is a shared or dedicated so what is that uh, database level command command is select sid and server mode from VDL session 
this server process will say whether it is a dedicated uh, for example this particular session this particular SID is a dedicated so uh, also I mentioned by default uh, uh, connection mode is going to be dedicated well, if you don't define any of dedicated shared by default when you create your database it's going to be undedicated server thank you guys